I, I don't get it. It's like guys like to rib each other once in a while. It's ribbing. It's just a joke. Hey, Chris Crane, he's such a virgin. That's that's just a joke. If I was with Chris, he would he would laugh. And if someone is a virgin, who gives a shit? I mean, when you ban that word, it's almost like you're saying that being a virgin is a bad thing. And I've never really understood uh, this sort of stuff. To me, it's just... This generation is soft. Uh, but I mean, it's like uh, it's like my incident on Twitter where I responded to Nee with a counter argument that I just thought was an, uh, a very fair point to make. And some people told me you were being super aggressive, and I'm like, no, that's just that's just a debating technique. It's just to use some hi hi hyperbole to, to look at the other side. It, it's just an argumentative technique. Like, it could lead to this and you show a pretty extreme end result. But then people tell me, like, you're being super aggressive. That's, uh, you're basically punishing him with words. And I'm like... Do you, it's like, do, do you ever go out and talk to people who disagree with you it's I, I'm starting to think like just disagreeing with someone is seen as violence these days and I'm, I'm getting really worried to be honest about society because you have to be able to engage in dialogue with people who do not agree with you if you can't do that you're that's not good at all. You're going to get really, really stressed once you leave your bubble. Very stressed. Uh, it's, it's, it's honestly really worrying. And Twitch, being the largest, largest streaming platform, banning words like virgin? What are you guys doing? And it's not going to stop here. What, what's the next word that's going to be banned? This is a very bad precedent to set. Because this is not going to stop. This is just going to be get pushed further and further, I think, by the looks of it. That's the problem these days. It's like, everything starts with a good idea. Some words should be banned. No one wants to hear racial slurs on Twitch. I, for one, don't want to, and I think most people agree with me, but... Then, in the... This act of kindness just keeps going, and suddenly you're banning words like, uh... Virgin. It's, uh... Honestly, I, I get really, really worried. I get really worried. Uh, my thoughts on Alinity, I don't know who that is. Is that a big streamer? You have to understand, I watch very, very few streams. I will occasionally watch Chris Crane, King J, Arsenal T, and that's about it. But it's, it's like Twitter, you know, where it's... I mean, for real, it's not an exaggeration when people say it turns into an echo chamber. Because on Twitter, that's supposed to, you know, uh, give you guys some interesting and intellectual conversation between all of these, you know, uh, public figures. Like, one, you only see tweets from people you follow. And do human beings tend to 
follow people who think like them and reinforce their worldview, confirmation bias? Uh, you, you bet your ass they do. So you're just fed uh, opinions and ideas from people who already agree with you. And your position is only strengthened because you're like, well, everyone seems to agree with me. This, the whole world seems to have this, the same idea I have. And you, you're probably not even realizing that what you are seeing is just your own construction because you're only following people who agree with you. You probably don't even think about that. And then, of course, what conversation can be had when you have a limit of 140 characters? Well, it basically turns into kindergarten. Fuck you! You know, it basically, you know, as politicians say, a good soundbite will beat any lengthy argument. Every time. It's like when a politician, you know, says something very thoughtful uh, about taxes, for example, and he uses common sense, and he gives you an argument that lasts two minutes, he's already lost half of the people watching because he's taking up two minutes. And chances are he will easily be beaten by the person that uses no logical argument, but just says, oh, you're just a conservative idiot. Or no, you're just a, you're just a li liberal socialist money, money drainer. You just want other people's money. That will beat a two-minute logical argument. Because half the people watching will have an immediate emotional response where they agree with you, sort of, because they can get what you're saying immediately. They love that emotional uh, uh, signaling of a soundbite. And the soundbite is basically the political one-liner. And it's the exact same thing on Twitter, where a lengthy argument is always brushed aside by you're a smelly poopy head. That will beat any argument because people immediately, oh, it's an insult. Everyone gets that. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, politics, both left and right, are a mess. Everything is so polarized. Uh, you go to Twitter and basically, Everyone's either a pussy libtard or an orange man worshipping conservative fuckface. It's, it's like, I, I, I just cannot spend time on such a platform, but everything is so polarized these days. Uh, but, I'm, but I'm getting really worried about Twitch. If, if that's actually true about Virgin and Simp, then... Yeah.